What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So for this video, this is not a reaction video like I titled it, I just needed to put it in a category for a playlist, but it is what it is, so let's jump into the video. So this is the second time that I've done something like this. I put a questionnaire on Instagram asking if you wanted me to do a Q&A, most of you said yes, so let's jump into it. Now before we actually jump into the video, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, share these videos with your friends, make sure my videos get out there, and yeah, let's jump into it. And warning, if I didn't answer your question this time around, uh, it's probably because it was a question that I can answer on my Talk To Me Tuesdays, so I'll definitely answer those on Talk To Me Tuesdays, but for this video, I wanna go a little bit more in depth with these questions. So the first question comes from Who Is Levi, and he says, do you think the Dodgers will go all the way this year? Honestly, this this season is a little bit different than most seasons where we have a 60 game season. Um, at the recording of this video, the Dodgers have already played 32 games, and luckily, you know, we're, we're doing pretty well, but um, in a short season, anything could happen, anything could get hot at the right time, especially with the playoffs being expanded. Um, I just I just really hope they do make it all the way. And if they do, I'm gonna still celebrate like it was a regular year because they earned it, you know? So any regular World Series is a World Series earned. Kaden1406 says, if you played baseball ever, what age did you start playing it? Now, I never played baseball when I was younger. I've, I've always been interested in baseball. I've been a Dodge fan since I was a young kid, as long as I can remember, but I never actually played the sport. I started playing softball when I was around my middle school age years um, with some family, and I've answered this before, but I started playing with some family members, and uh, yeah, it took off from there. So ever since I was around middle school age is when I started playing softball, and it went from there, and now I'm here. Little Roof says, favorite food? To be honest, there's too many foods to choose. I mean, you don't get to be living the world of life just, you know, having one favorite food. There's too many to choose from, but my tops are for sure sushi. I love uh, pho, pizza, uh, Mexican food, and pasta. Person473722 says, what music do you like? And to be honest with you, I like all kinds of music. And yes, that does include country music too, even though it's not very uh, big on my playlist, but I do like a lot of kinds of music. I like hip hop, I like rap, I like R&B, I like um, rock, classic rock, some of the new stuff, not so much. Um, classic music, rockabilly, I've been known to really just jam out to some rockabilly music before. Um, you know, just a little bit of everything. And I've actually played music myself. I was in band for many years while I was going through school, played saxophone, played drums. So music, my repertoire is huge. I hope I'm not messing up this name, but Joe Sindel says, what is the funniest thing that you saw happen while playing with the softball crew? Um, to be honest, there's been a lot of pretty funny moments while I played with the softball crew. I've been with them for quite a while now. Um, but the funniest thing, and I, I hope he doesn't, you know, not like me for this, but um, when Mobo struck out all those bunch of times in a row, I think it was like five or six times in a row. I may be off a little bit, but yeah, when Mobo struck out that many times in a row, I mean, I, I, I think it was pretty funny. And I don't think it's funny because he can't hit a ball because the kid can hit. But I think it's funny because, you know, it's softball. I mean, it's hard to hit a ball, but it's not hard to hit a ball in softball when you've been playing for quite a while. So, um, again, no shade Mobo, but that was the funniest thing that I've seen. Sportstat659 says, when did you start watching Dodger Films? Now I've been watching Bobby's channel for a long time. I mean, I want to say since like 2014 is when I came across his channel. I've always watched the videos and to be part of the softball crew, to be in his channel, I mean, that's only, that's, that's one of the greatest things that I could be a part of, to be honest. So I've been watching for a long time and I'm also really happy to be part of it. Big Caesar Pizza says, would you, if you had to, eat 10 tacos at Pastor to save your life? Um, yeah. <laughs> I think that would be an easy thing to do to save my life. Eat 10 tacos at Pastor. I got it. I got Again, I didn't get to be Gordo Life by not eating. Easy challenge for me. Now this one comes from my friend Rosanna, and she says, any hidden challenge besides being top flight security of the world, Craig? No, that's an inside joke between us, so I got you, Dede. So my hidden talent. I had to think long and hard about that one. And to be honest, I had to ask Special K, and for what she said is that I'm pretty sneaky for being a big dude. And I think I have to agree with her. I mean, there's been countless times where I'm walking around the house and my housemate doesn't hear me and I just say hi to her and oh my gosh, she's scared. Um, same thing with Special K. I can sneak up on her pretty easily and scare her every now and then and one of these days I'm going to have to film that for you guys. Alright, I don't know if you guys can see my dogs, but I had to let them in because they were at the door and they were crying so I don't want to, you know, leave them out there crying. Now, I don't really know how to pronounce this, but I'm going to say it's Aaron Monday. Um, but he says, if you could bring back any player and put him on the current Dodgers, who would it be? Now that's too hard to even uh, 
think about, man, because there's so many great, and I'm assuming he's talking about Dodger players, so I'm gonna stick with Dodger players only, but there's so many great Dodger players that I would love to bring back. Eric Gagne, in his prime, would have been a perfect candidate to have on this team to shut out the games. Um, Sandy Koufax, to see him throw alongside playing Kershaw would be freaking awesome. Pedro Guerrero would be an awesome one to see. Um, the infield, oh my gosh, the infamous infield, sorry, my dog hit my camera, but the infamous infield would be, be uh, awesome to see because they spent nine years together, so that'd be awesome to see all of them. But if I had to pick one specific player, it'd probably be Fernando Valenzuela. He's been one of my favorite players for a long time. He comes from Mexico, um, and to see him in his prime, you know, Fernando Mania, all that going on, um, that'd be freaking awesome to see live. And speaking of Manias, bring back Manny. Omar Juarez9 asks, pizza or in and out now, depends on where I'm getting the pizza from. Um, if it's coming from like Domino's, I'm not a big fan of Domino's, so I'll definitely pass on that. Um, but if it's coming from like this spot in Riverside that I really like, it's one of my favorite spots to go to, it's called NNW Pizza. I'm definitely gonna pick the pizza over the In-N-Out for sure. Aside from that, if there's no pizza around, I'm definitely picking In-N-Out. 214 Axel says, would you do gaming videos on your channel? In saludos. Um, to be honest, I thought about it. I'm not a big gamer. I, I play for fun. I don't play to make content off of it. I might one day when I get a better computer, because my computer's pretty old and it takes me as long to do stuff anyway. So um, I may just get into it. I may not. That's up in the air right now. So we'll see. Adrian Yu asks, is Dustin Shoes actually $7,000? Um, I don't know. You have to ask him. I really don't know because he's the one who bought them. I didn't buy them for him. Obviously, I can't afford $7,000 shoes. But if anybody can, I guess he can. Layton11 asks, what do you want your last words to be? Man, that's such a hard question to uh, ask and a hard answer to think about because your last words are kind of a big deal. You kind of want it to uh, represent who you were as a person and uh, um, what you did in your life. So I guess for me, I would have to say... I would have to go with how I end my YouTube videos with the deuces. Trent Meehan says, who's your prediction for home run later by the end of the season? Um, as much as I don't like the San Diego Padres, I do like Fernando Tatis Jr. The kid is on tear. I think he's gonna end up leading the league in home runs. Um, close second probably be Mike Trout because they're both number one and number two right now. Uh, but if anybody comes up and sneaks up behind him, not trying to be a, a homer here, but I think it's gonna be uh, Mookie Betts. So if, if, if it's not, uh, Tatis Jr. Trout, definitely Mookie. The Jimmy RB3 says, did you enjoy the on-season baseball series and would you like to do a, an on-season Gaga Ball series? Now, I don't know what Gaga Ball is, so that's on me. I guess I should have uh, looked that up. So I do apologize for not knowing what that is. But the on-season baseball series, that was fun. For the little games that I did play, that was pretty fun. Um, I couldn't make it to all the games. Uh, that was the unfortunate part, but I think there was only like a couple games that I played in, but it was cool to see the fast pitch come in, you know, take swings on the fast pitch and be able to feel those balls. So um, if we could do it again, I'd be down for on-season baseball series, but up until now, you know, we're still in Corona. Porfirio Alonso Lopez, and that's where I got cut off, so I'm sorry if there's more, um, but he asks, ¿Hablas español? Si hablo español. Ya, español es mi segundo idioma, y en donde trabajo, uh, hablo español para los clientes que son de familia que hablan puro español. So, do I speak Spanish? Yes. I'm not sure how to pronounce this one, so I'm just going to put it right here. But he says, ¿Qué onda, carna? Saludos for you and Latino Power, and I always enjoy watching Dodger films. Thank you for watching. Keep watching. Keep supporting. And I'll leave you a little message from Latino Power himself right here. Latino Power all the way, homie. <laughs> what are you doing, Lisa? Chavez Andre 5 says, how do I hit dingers? I don't know. I just swing, look at the ball, make sure it hits the bat. Sometimes it goes out. Most of the time it doesn't. But when it does, it goes out. It's a dinger. But honestly, I don't know. Justify771 says, favorite states other than California. I've only been to a handful of states outside of California. Um, I've been to New York, I've been to New Jersey, uh, Arizona, Nevada, and uh, Pennsylvania when we went to the Phillies game. It's hard to really pick what state is my favorite considering I haven't really explored most of the states. Favorite one out of those, it would have to be Nevada because there's Vegas, there's Laughlin, there's Reno. Um, they have outdoors. It's the desert, it's hot, I don't like the heat, but there's places where you can cool off. All the hotels have pools, and then there's outside recreation with lakes, rivers, and all that good stuff. So Nevada offers a little bit of everything. Um, and there's a spot that I really want to go to, Zach Bagan's Haunted Museum, that I really want to go to that's in Nevada. So I'm hoping to get the chance to go there one day. Lokers22 says, if you had the opportunity to start streaming video games as a full-time job, would you take it? Um, I think I would, um, depending on how much they're paying, because I definitely got to be making a lot more than I make now. Um, but aside from that, you know, I 
I'm not really good at video games, like I said before. So if somebody wants to pay me to uh, watch me and, and do terrible and not be a good gamer, then I'm definitely down. Just give me a lot of money for it. Esocial99 says, what is your favorite softball moment? And what is your favorite personal mo? Which I'm assuming is moment. Um, but if I had to choose one, and it's gonna be the same one that I've always chosen before, is hitting that inside the park home run in Toronto, when we played out there. Cisco hitting for Sierra and murdering the ball. Don't hit the big knickers. Run, run, run! Go, man, go! Goes coming in from mobile, I save! Save, yeah! <laughs> Definitely by far my most favorite moment that I've had um, in softball, which goes along with this next question. Riley Lewis 269 says, Cisco, how did it feel to tell off the doubters and hit an inside Parker in Toronto? Now, going back to the last question, it's definitely my favorite moment from my entire time playing with softball, only because I've never been able to hit an inside park home run anywhere. Um, and to be able to do it in Toronto, in a different country of all places, um, was freaking amazing. Um, and to tell off all the doubters, I didn't really tell anything to anybody um, per se, but you know, if there's doubters out there, Whatever, let them hate. Let them hate, because I did it. I did it, and uh, anybody else can do it too. And that's where I get my motto for Gordo Life. You know, Gordo Life is living the chunky life, but being out there and active and doing stuff and just still living that, that fun life. So, Gordo Life, get out there, hit a home run in Toronto if you can. So these two questions are gonna go together. So Master Robin Net 64 says, how do you hit a softball in slow pitch? And Caden123 says, how, what's a quick tip for hitting homers? Hitting a softball isn't too difficult unless you've been playing baseball for your entire life. Now, a lot of the guys that I talk to on my rec leagues, they say that when they made the transition from baseball to softball, it was really difficult for them to get adjusted to hitting softballs only for the fact that you're looking at the ball at a different angle and the ball is coming at you um, at a slower speed. Your swings are definitely way different than, than in baseball because in baseball you're going down on the ball, whereas in softball, a lot of the times you have that level swing that you just, it almost feels like you're chopping at the ball. But with enough practice, you can make it easy. Now hitting home runs is the same for softball as it is for baseball. Basically, you have to stick to your mechanics. You have to see the ball, hit the ball, and uh, as far as your rotation, hip rotation, get all that going, um, and just make sure you follow what your coaches have been teaching you, and surely enough, the power will come through. Now for the last question, and it comes from Pina Mejia 47, and he says, since being on Dodger Films, has your life changed in any kind of way? Honestly, it has. It's changed quite a bit. Ever since being on Dodger Films, I've had the opportunity to meet a lot of great people and make some pretty good friendships along the way. And aside from the people that I've met, I've also had the opportunity to go to places that I never thought that I would ever have ever been to. So for example, London, Paris, would have never thought I would have made it to London, Paris. And on top of that, we have New York, we have New Jersey, we went to Philadelphia, we went to Toronto. I mean, <laughs> Dodger Films has changed my life in so many ways that I can't even think about it right now. It just has. And it also has allowed me to meet a lot of great people outside of Dodger Films. Um, a lot of the fans that I've interacted with, a lot of uh, people that meet me in, uh, in different places at Disneyland at my games. So because of Dodger Films, again, I'm meeting a lot of people and going to a lot of different places. And for that, I'll be forever grateful. All right guys, so that does it for this video. Again, it was hard to choose the questions that I chose. There was a lot of them, so I thank you all for your submissions. If I didn't get to answer your question this time, hopefully I'll get to do it for either my Talk To Me Tuesdays or on the next video. But for this one, thank you for the questions. We're out. We'll see you next time. Deuces.